Hi, I work for the University of Missouri Extension and we provide soil testing services to homeowners and gardeners and farmers all across the state. Uh, I'd like to teach you today about how to take a soil sample from your yard. Why would you want to take a soil test? Well, there's a few different reasons. Uh, maybe you're thinking about planting something new in your yard and you'd like to uh, uh, figure out what it is that you could have in that soil or maybe you need to figure out what you would need to amend your soil with in order uh, to plant your favorite plant. Maybe you've got something in your yard like your, your lawn or, or a, you know, a flower or something like that that's just not doing very well and you'd like to figure out why. All of those are reasons why you should do a soil test. In order to figure any of those things out, you need to get a really good soil sample. The goal is to, to get a sample that represents all of the soil that you're interested in. Um, this is a, a, a nice backyard and normally I would test a backyard uh, separate from a front yard. Just the same as I would as we would want to test a flower bed separately from a vegetable garden. And the reason behind that is those soils are going to be different from each other. They've been amended and treated differently and so you wouldn't want to mix the samples together because then you'll get a you get a mixed result. So for example in the backyard here I would want to take eight or ten different samples from this lawn, mix those together, and that would give me one sample for my test. If I were going to do this flower bed over here, I would take eight or ten samples from the bed and mix those together. Or if it were a vegetable garden, the same thing. Now, with a lawn, you're only going to need to sample to about three or four inches deep because that's all the area, that's, that's all as deep as, uh, as uh, lawn roots go. But for pretty much everything else, if you're testing for a tree or for shrubs or flowers or vegetables, you're going to want to test to about six inches deep. If I were going to take a soil sample, I would use this handy soil probe because it takes a core out of the lawn and makes it really easy for me to collect these. But not everybody has one of these lying around. You probably got shovel or a spade. I took this, this core out of the lawn. This, this is really as much as I need for just one sample. So when you go digging up with a shovel, you don't need a whole ton of soil. I do it like this. Okay. I move my shovel back a little bit. Put it down in there. I'm going to try and pull this out. Okay. All I really need is just a narrow sample from the middle here. So what I'll do is I'll kind of put this back. Okay. Maybe pull the grass off the top. And then I'll just keep maybe about this much of it. Okay, that's all I need. And that's giving me a sample of the top three inches of soil. I can put all this back in. So you can see that when you come to an extension office, you don't need to bring in a whole bucket full of soil. That's one sample. And if I do that eight or 10 times throughout this lawn, I won't have a ton of soil here, but I'll have enough for a soil test. Same thing if I were to use a trowel. I just want to go down maybe three or four inches in a lawn. And it, you know, like I said before, six inches or so if I'm sampling a, a vegetable garden or a flower garden. Okay, so here I pulled up the soil from the right depth. I pull off the uh, grass plants and things off the top. And really I only, I mean I could throw this in the bucket, it'd be fine, but I don't even need that much. I could just kind of take that much there and put the rest of this back. That's all we need. Now, I wouldn't normally take them this close together. I'd, you know, just randomly space them out through the lawn. And once you've got eight or ten samples, just mix them together and then take a plastic baggie, fill it up and bring two cups of it, about a, you know, one pint to us. And uh, that's the amount that we need to do the soil test. So if I were going to sample from this garden bed over here, I'm going to go a little bit deeper than in the lawn. I'd probably want to go to about six inches deep, which it's about the entire depth of this trowel here. And uh, it's important not to just scrape some off the top or uh, even off the very bottom, but to have that whole six inches in there 
because that's the amount of soil that, the, that those plants are using. And if you just get a little bit off the top or something, then you're not getting a, a sample that represents what those plants have to work with.